this is Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I've switched on a resolution scaling mode which I didn't realise was an option and this reduces the quality somewhat but gives you a slight uh, boost in frame rates and this opening driving game there's not too much going on it's when you get into some built up areas with lots of um, characters moving around on the screen that's when the system's going to take a dive I would imagine but at the moment um, we're getting late 20s um, 30s in uh, frame rates which is uh, which is not too bad right so that's Grand Theft Auto 5 this is a game called Paladins and I've got all the graphical settings set onto maximum and despite this looking a really good game with a lot going on we're getting uh, above 30 frames per second which is uh, which is just fine so if you want to play a game in a similar vein to Fortnite and Apex then Paladins won't disappoint. This game's getting on a bit, it's called Quake 4, which is based on the Doom 3 engine, Doom 3 B being by id Software. Um, now with all the quality settings set to the maximum and including the resolution, we're getting a pretty solid 60 frames per second, which uh, you probably expect from a game this age which still looks absolutely amazing I think the gameplay is pretty good as well so if you've not played Quake 4 I definitely recommend you checking it out seems to dip slightly when we go into this area but uh, that's not to be expected sorry that's um, not not uh, unexpected so I imagine it will go down just ever so slightly once we get outside right so that's quake 4 this is realm royale and as you can probably tell it's a fortnight paladins type game now i've got the quality set on the uh, second highest and the resolutions on maximum we're getting nudging 30 so I suppose I could get that those various quality settings down a touch and also the Bandicam not uh, recording we could easily get 30 there's no, no other characters on the screen at the moment but it is outside so I suppose that will become more important as we get into this game now I did notice as a side note on the previous game Quake 4 the Bandicam frame rate counter was 60 but it actually only recorded a setting of 30 which is a bit bizarre I can't get my head around that but you can take it from me that what I tell you in the videos is what I'm seeing it's going down quite a bit because there's a, uh, a nice effect just on there so what I'll do is I'll try and get a few characters on the screen, get a little firefight going, just to test that frame rate. So I think we're coming up to a couple of characters here. I'm sure that rate will probably go down a touch. too much and there's only a couple characters right so that's realm royale now this is team fortress 2 now this game's not very taxing on the system so i've got most of the settings set to the maximum and the resolution set to the max as well so we get in a decent frame rate on this one 
just going to respawn in a few seconds. It's nudging 60 anyway. So I suppose we can get, we could possibly get all the graphical settings set to the maximum as well. But uh, I've taken the uh, default, so I just had to change the resolution, that's all, to the maximum. Okay, so that's uh, Team Fortress. This is Valorant, and I've got most of the quality settings set to medium, and we get in mid 40s frames per second, so you can be sure that this. Uh, this system will have no problems playing it. Um, I'm sure once firefight starts happening, that frame rate's going to go down, but not, not by too much, I would imagine. Oh, reloading. Spike down A. Okay, so that's Valorant. So this is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now I've switched off a lot of the effects, and it looks all right to me. I mean, we're getting late 30s pushing 40 frames per second which on a driving game is just fine and admittedly there's not much traffic at the moment so it may may drop slightly when there's a few more cars and vehicles on the road um quite sensitive controls here um but yeah it's still getting uh, a reasonable 40 frames per second, which on a, on a driving game, it's uh, which I'm not very good at. It's um, it's more than adequate. Now this one's quite old, but as you can see, the graphics still stand up. Now I don't think this will play Need for Speed Heat or some of the later ones, but for this one, it's it's fine. Okay, so that's Need for Speed Most Wanted. So just to sum up then, this Dell Optiplex 7020 will play most of the popular online games and at reasonable frame rates providing you compromise by adjusting the quality levels accordingly. Um, one game that did surprise me that seemed to stutter a bit was FIFA 15. Now those football sports and other sports games a lot less taxing on the system than the uh, first person shooter so if anybody's got an idea as why that was just drop me a comment but maybe look at playing FIFA games earlier than that if you actually want to play a football game um, just make sure that you've got a solid state drive and minimum 8 gig of RAM and then there's various optimizations you can do to Windows 10 to get the most out of a system. Okay, so thanks for watching. If there's any games you'd like me to test on this system, just drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe.